<laughs> it's true, man. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Vogel. <sighs> it's scary. Can't show that to your mom, can you? <laughs> I'm not gonna show it. Right. I have to get a diet Pepsi. Go for it. No fear. Trying to at least. How y'all doing? <laughs> Hi, job. What do you want to uh, label these? MK unveiling. MK unveiling. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Art. Hey, John. My turn to videotape you. Wow, I'm on videotape. Where's it? This is it's going to MTV. Look at Joanne. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh, isn't he sweet? You're not going to show up. <laughs> well, I can barely see you guys, let's go, but... Let's go, let's go in the light. There is look, no look at light. her back. There is no the light. Look at shorter dresses. <laughs> look at those legs. Oh, you can't see them. Oh, there they are. Observation of Mortal Kombat's promotion. All right. Not a B or anything like that. So. I'm first. Tell me, tell me where. Oh, you're first. Well, you'll see the Mortal. Go, we're zooming. So I'm still here. <laughs> I'm eating the food that they provide for you know the guests and stuff. I'm still here. 
<laughs> no, you can stand up. <laughs> stand up. Oh, you got it on the wide angle or something? Yeah. So, you know, I figured, <laughs> yeah, I'd eat some food before the show about Mortal Kombat, you know. And, uh, you know, I'm all dressed up in my expensive clothes. How much do they cost? All together, maybe a hundred bucks. <laughs> I'm not including the underwear. Oops. But, um, yeah, Ed uh, Boone yeah, hasn't showed up yet because he missed his plane. That's about it. And Jennifer's behind the camera. Obviously. Give me the camera. I'll get you. <laughs> Here's Jennifer. She's new here. Very. <laughs> it's like, okay, I can go home now. All based on mine. Okay. <laughs> it's pop. It's Mark Bonacho in his new look. Turn sideways. <laughs> Take it off, baby. <laughs> It is Greg Ferrez, you know what to be? the most famous artist in the world. Make sure you keep filming this masterpiece. Yeah? Yes. I'll get, I'll get the end. I don't want to waste too much tape, I gotta get the show. You do know the end? No, I don't. Yeah, yeah that, that thing. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll get it going. That thing right there, like that. That's a naked lady. Holding up a big old basket. Now it's Mr. Freyas, we're you using magic white. Big time magic white. <laughs> Take a seat again. Tonight's showing will begin in about five minutes. Thank you. <laughs> the exhibition is about to begin. Thank you. <laughs> to satisfy the ageless human drive for self-expression. That is what fuels the creation of our masterpiece. It is a vision of life that leaves us profoundly moved, a work that is cherished forever. These priceless treasures will be admired for generations to come. These prolific artists were in tune with their work. They were so admired that many tried to imitate their style, but none were able to capture the essence of beauty quite as they. Who carries on that tradition and sets the new standard by which all others are judged? Who is creating the works of art that will captivate future generations? Where are today's master creators?
Well, good evening. Good evening and welcome to the Williams Valley Midway Masterpiece Gallery. We have uh, quite a, an exciting show in store for you tonight. And I am pleased to announce that we have recently acquired some great fine works of art, which will soon be embraced by the entire world. But before we start that, uh, there might be a few announcements. And one of the announcements is, as you leave here tonight and you go out, there will be a package of information for you and uh, a little commemorative gift for this occasion. And I guess we'll know it as the snow show. No pun intended. But I'm sure that you are all now kind of concerned and, and kind of curious about our hardworking artist who was there during our reception period and what he was working on and the masterpiece that he was creating. So maybe we could show you what he was working on. Uh, oh. Well, it uh, kind of reminds me of my uh, great 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 uncle Sinclair Lisa Dillon. Sinclair had a little trouble picking the right closet to get dressed from. But seriously, we have some real masterpieces here tonight. And we invite you to witness their unveiling, their birth, right here tonight for the very first time. And we are sure that you will be as excited as we were when you view these great masterpieces. So what is a masterpiece? Well, it's a superb artistic accomplishment. It is the physical manifestation of tremendous skill. It is something to be admired, to be desired, to be coveted by the masses forever. And who creates these masterpieces? Who does this work? Well, it's an artist. It's a master. It's a person of incredible skill who has the ability to transform ordinary materials into priceless, valuable works of art. And you will see that value tonight as we unveil our own private masterpiece collection and offer them to you, the connoisseur. But first, let's talk a little bit about value and about the value of investing in masterpiece. I was just trying to keep the bike away from my body and something hit the front wheel, knocked the handlebars out of my hand, and somehow or other from this side of the bike, my hand went into this hole, this lightning hole, and then the sprocket spun past the swing arm right here and snipped it off. Uh -huh. It didn't hurt as bad as you'd think, it just kind of burned. I'm, I'm used to it, it still works a clutch.
adversary game. You play against the skull. You know, he doesn't talk nice. He tells you what to do. But if you listen to what he says, he'll tell you exactly how to play the game. The accelerator ramp moves the ball to like extreme speeds. It's, uh, it passes by a flipper quickly. If you're not paying attention, you go right by it. If you really do achieve your top score, the moment you do, the announcer voice will tell you, and player three is in first place. It's a great feature. It's a good rush. I love the graphics on the game. Playfield's a masterpiece. Yeah, every shot is clearly marked. I love its color. It's, it's a strong graphics package. Okay, when a player looks up at the back glass, he's going to see this set of kind of fierce, but, you know, kind of disturbed, intense eyes staring back at him. Right above that is Jeremy McGrath doing the Superman air thing on a Honda CR250. A NASCAR coming across this way, and three or four uh, road race motorcycles skydiving in the background, and a rock climber. It's an awesome, it's just an awesome statement. We have uh, some, some great video modes. I can't wait now. I've never done this before. Can I perish you then? Where's everybody? Shut up and jump! <laughs> I really love the jump shot. It's unforgettable and addictive. You flip that foot where the ball flies through the air, gets caught on the other side by another catch around, and it continues to feed it back to the flipper so you can keep repeating it over and over and over again. This machine is about competition. It's really fast and intense. It's partly an adrenaline addiction, too. It's good adventure. undeservedly so. But maybe, maybe we have to try something different. I'm no fashion consultant, but uh, maybe a new image might help. Haha, <laughs> let's try a little something. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let's just try something. Susie, may I call you Susie? 
Susie? I don't know how I can thank you, Mr. Dillon. Well, I think all your troubles are over. You know, Susan, we can never give up. We have to continue to try. We have to remember what our forefathers taught us, that we can accomplish whatever we set off our mind to do. That we can, we can overcome every obstacle that's in our way. We will succeed. Thank you, Mr. Dillon. I will never forget this day. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Ah, Susie. All right. All right. Not a bad friend for 175 years old, you know that? stand before the very source of power. Behold, the magic. magician? I sure hope she can make big, big piles of water up here. But she's not the only one that can do tr uh, magic tricks. Let me show you some of my own. That was a joke. <laughs> I'm not finished. How about this, guys? This is Miss Cruisin' 1 and Miss Cruisin' 2. You know, when you have one masterpiece, you can draw some attention. When you have two masterpieces, you're going to draw a crowd. But when you take two masterpieces and you link them together, boy, you got earnings. you got a lot of earnings. That's exactly what we've done. We've taken a masterpiece, put it alongside of another masterpiece, and linked them and you can see the results. The results are not only more value to the masterpiece, but also value to where you put the masterpiece. So now we can say, 
that we now have linking and we can cruise the U.S. bed. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with my two friends. They're going to cruise the USA, and we do hope that you see them somewhere on the highway. That go beyond the best, beyond belief, beyond the definition of a masterpiece, where the skill of the artist and the master so exceeds expectations that one is left breathless and standing in awe. It is my honor to introduce to you tonight the final masterpiece in our private collection. It's never really been a game. It's not about immunity. It's about power and obsession. It's controversy and it's battle. It stands supreme above all others. It is without question the most successful title in the history of our industry. It's a new realm because it's now a major motion picture. It's a live international tour. It's a groundbreaking advertising campaign. It's compelling secret codes that create new sources of revenue. Most importantly, it's an unprecedented event. The world's most powerful fighting experience released now so you can cash in on a universe of promotional support. 1995 belongs to Mortal Kombat. It can also belong you. Great. What ideal environment would you create to guarantee the success of an arcade game? What kind of a machine would you build? How would you promote it? How would you ensure that players are driven back to the game over and over again? You might want to start with a proven winner. Maybe a household word with a massive player base eager for new challenges. You want the most successful game anthology in the history of electronic entertainment. Then, if you could only build a game like no other, the ideal machine, one that completely surpasses the expectations of the public, MK3. This masterpiece takes proven strengths and cranks up the intensity. It's faster, with more characters, backgrounds, and thrilling secret moves. We also have a special new feature that will boost your collections. This combination lock is something revolutionary in our industry. It's like a briefcase lock with six wheels and a million combinations. By discovering these special combat codes, Players will unlock the secrets of a new fighting world. Where will they learn the secret code? Everywhere. In the film, live tour, in the animated series, even in the advertising. Those who learn secret codes will now be compelled to visit your arcade in search of secret power. How will the game be advertised? with the most aggressive campaign our industry has ever seen. One filled with intrigue and controversy. One that forces players back into the arcades in search of secret power. For a Mortal Kombat player, knowledge is power. Compelling secrets increase collections. That's why we've made Secret Codes the cornerstone of the ad campaign. From March through July, all major player and trade publications will be bombarded with ads like this. Notice the symbols we just mentioned. The ad campaign is designed to get players to use the secret codes. You'll see them in all of our advertising. 
you can use these codes in the game itself. How will it work? By using these symbols, ads will provide clues to codes on MK3 games. It's like a puzzle where one piece is missing. To solve the puzzle, players must go to your location and play the game. What else will send them to your location? Something unheard of in our industry. TV ads for a coin-op game. To make the launch of this game truly history-making, Midway has produced a television commercial. During the month of April, this haunting ad will appear nationwide on MTV. Once again, it will feature secret codes to encourage repeat play. Throughout the year, you'll see licensed products, over $500 million worth. It's an unending supply of merchandise and Mortal Kombat awareness. In addition, and for a limited time, licensed Midway distributors and their operators will be the only source for special MK3 merchandise. In July, you'll be seeing a 3D animated feature, one that joins the theme to the latest advances in animation technology. In each of us there burns the fury of a warrior. In every generation, a few are chosen to prove it. They will travel to a mystical land to fight for their honor. Next, how about adding a live-action road tour? Beginning in September, Mortal Kombat The Live Tour will sweep across the globe, bringing martial arts and illusion to more than 200 cities. Special tournament tie-ins will be offered to MK3 operators. It's a landslide of publicity, but it's not over yet. Get ready for the $40 million major motion picture Mortal Kombat. More than just a movie, it's another billboard for your game. Within the film will be hidden secrets that players can use in your arcade. In each of us, there burns the fury of a warrior. In every generation, a few are chosen to prove it. Five you three will decide the outcome of the tournament. Three strangers. <laughs> Travel to the mystical realm of our world to defend our people against Shang Tsung. You will die. And his forces of darkness. In an ancient tournament. One more victory. Your soul is mine. In our world. No! Is theirs. It has begun. strategy, brand new to coin -Con. In September, when Mortal Kombat Hysteria reaches a fever pitch, a ROM update will be available to operators free of charge. When you buy the game, you own the update. This update will feature new characters, new secret moves, and additional fighting environments not available on any home platform. The update will make your arcade game a brand new fighting experience. 
Most importantly, the codes required to access new features will be learned on other platforms. The net effect will be to drive all MK3 players to your arcade in search of new features and special secret powers. Welcome to the year of Mortal Kombat, the biggest phenomenon to ever hit our industry. All the elements we've described are more than just promotions on the same theme. They're really advertisements for the game and your arcade. When you buy Mortal Kombat 3, you'll participate in a carefully constructed strategy designed to drive players into your location. This is the year of Mortal Kombat, and today is day one. take the applause that they belong for the game. You have to agree that this unprecedented plan is like nothing the industry has ever seen and yet so needs today, right now. Well, you can make the decision tonight, right here, to be part of it. And now the tournament begins.
This is foul. <laughs> ah, love me like a woman. <laughs>
What's up? <laughs> Probably out of focus anyway. Hi, Joanne. What's Hi, up? Hi, John. Funny seeing you here. I know. Ace is 
like this or like that, but you never hit it. The hat doesn't work though. Huh? The hat doesn't work. see a string of common uh, sequences that go back to your arcade and play them. And then they see that they, they buy the animated video and again, they get the uh, another one. of this game featuring Ed Boon and John Tobias. And that'll all be starting in a couple of minutes here. So stick around and get ready to see MK3 and its characters. Kano. Once we had Kano, now we have a 
shell of a man. Let's hear it for him one more time, the Mortal Kombat character. Thanks, guys. Now, in a couple minutes, we're going to have Ed Boone and John Tobias come in here as soon as they show up. And they'll be showing us Mortal Kombat 3, some of the finer points of the game, some of the secret moves. This is our last demonstration today, so you might want to stick around. Give us a couple seconds, and they'll be here. There, they'll be over here in a second. Before they begin, I should let you know that this is, is the year of Mortal Kombat 3, really. Uh, there'll be a lot more than just this game, as if that's not enough. This is really the first element of the year of Mortal Kombat. It begins really today. Uh, in addition to this, there will be a making of Mortal Kombat tape that comes out in June. In July, there will be an animated feature that comes out. Uh, in August, there will be a feature-length film that comes out from the directors of, uh, I'm sorry, from the producers of Terminator 2. In September, there will be a live tour that kicks off. It will go all around the globe and hit more than 200 cities. Also, operators who purchase this game will be getting a free ROM update that will include special new characters, special secret codes, special new backgrounds, and all of that will be coming in September. That will be a free ROM update. Uh, but right now, we'll get Ed Boone and John Tobias over here. Hey, Ed, John. And they're going to give us a little demonstration of Mortal Kombat. Ed will explain a little bit more about the codes that we talked about and how those feed everything back into the game. Uh, okay, um, first I guess we'll start off with an explanation of uh, the game when you start. On one player map, you notice here there's three towers, three different heights, or three different degrees of difficulty. You know, a lot of people, some people were so good at Mortal Kombat they would be able to go through the whole game in one quarter. Other people couldn't get past the first guy. So we basically set up three different levels of difficulty to allow the, uh, you know, the player for advancing to higher level. The smallest one also has a lot more hidden things. Uh, now I'm doing it. Uh, Let's see. One thing you notice in the game, you notice this dragon in the middle here. That's going to be a, uh, a character that's controlled. John's going to give us a little demonstration of uh, Cyrex. He's got these bombs that drop on the ground. Time to make it look like that's the guy over there.
What's with the dude standing up in front of him? Thank you. It's like some guy standing up in front of everybody. In pinball, it's at the highest level and frankly deserving of its own separate stage. And we'd like to... It's 
skull. It's the most important award that we have tonight, as far as I'm concerned. Jeannie Blue, where are you? Fabtech. Great. One of the great games of all time. Jeannie, are you here? There she is. She, since Frank left the company, it's been so much better. Mortal Kombat 2, the kid. And boom, John Tobias, John Vogel. Yeah. 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 That sounds good to me. USA, Eugene Jarvis, Mark Alfredo. <laughs> that always Alfredo! That always Still happens, Tony. Killer Instinct, Kerry Bendick, Joel <laughs> and Scott Hogberg. <laughs> Midway manufacturing, a lot of work, and you all can come up here and claim it. Digitize it for. See, the cool thing is, I get Mark Panacho on tape. He hates it when. All right. Work with it, huh? What'd you say, Mark? He said I hated it. I said I never did. Oh, you hated it when I was trying to do the making of Terminator 2. That's because it was copyrighted stuff and it wasn't my game. No, I was getting your face, and you would like. No, no, no. <laughs> You've never watched Seinfeld before? Uh, this is a great, this is a great thing. I think, got, I've, seen, I think I've seen three episodes. He got a cut yeah. from this girl and he threw it away. This is a showstopper.
these guys are going to give us a little demonstration. Let's see what happens here. Nito and Sonya just hanging out of the hole. Is uh, Williams is actually anyway, is actually treating this game a lot differently than we do our normal videos. Um, one of the reasons being all the other events that are kind of supporting the uh, the product. One of them is the uh, we're at, we actually have TV commercials that are going to be airing on MTV during during the month of April, and. Also, we're going to, every other event that is associated with Mortal Kombat is supporting the Mortal Kombat 3 arcade game. We have these basically a, a sequence of symbols which everything is built around in terms of the hidden features. If you notice here, I'm clicking these buttons and they're changing these symbols on the bottom here. When you get a correct sequence of symbols, a completely new feature or way of fighting is revealed. We're going to have fatalities which are associated with these symbols. We're going to have other... We have, a, uh, we have some features which are minor and just subtle changes to the gameplay and some which are major, whether it's introducing an entire character or letting you control an entire new character into the game. And we also have the, the signature Mortal Kombat features which is like the fatalities, the fatalities, the friendships, the... Um, like we were saying before, Mortal Kombat 3 is a lot different from the other games, just in the sense of when it's coming out and what's supporting it. It's like dark, and you have, you have, well, basically, for a kid, you become just so ridiculously good at adding twists to it. With, this stuff is again. This code here is not the final code of the game. So one of the uh, either the movie or the anime that's coming out is going to have a sequence of symbols which the kids will see. They go to the arcade and try it out, and something like this is revealed. And then they see the next commercial, and then the uh, sorry about that. Sorry on the inside Selectable characters for the home. So when when the home version comes out, it will be 
Mr. from Albania, but the Arcadians will also have another. Again, I'm not contained over the whole group. So this, and then when the movie comes out again, it, it's going to contain in codes. The home versions are going to contain codes that were in the arcade version and not in the home version. And then everything is focused back onto the arcade version. Um, and that's basically the whole of it. Okay, that's Ed Boone explaining the year of Mortal Kombat. Keep in mind that in April you'll be seeing an advertisement on MTV television after Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat Rock! The show that's coming out called Mortal Kombat. In August, it's a film of the same person. We're attending, well, if you came in the middle of this demonstration, we'll be doing another one in about an hour or so. So stop on by. Next, we'll take a look at No Fear across the aisle.
after that, we'll have a demonstration of the game itself from Ed Boone and John Tobias, two of the designers of the game. We should let you know that Mortal Kombat 3 is available now as, de as a dedicated game or kit form. You can buy it both ways for this show. And it starts from the, from the very first day of uh, the game's offering. So this is the year of Mortal Kombat. This year you'll see that there will be a live tour, there will be a movie, there will be advertisements for the coin up game on television, on MTV during the month of April. Uh, there will also be an animated feature. All of those are advertisements for your game, and all of them will send players back to your location and your arcade in search of secret powers and secret codes. Those secret codes are kind of the backbone of this game, and in a little while, Ed Boone will explain how they work. Uh, but the basic concept is to send players back to your arcade over and over again. Also, operators who purchase Mortal Kombat 3 will be eligible for a free, not eligible, but they will own a free run update that will come out in September. That free run update will have secret characters, will have more backgrounds, and it will be different than any home game that's on the market, driving players back into the arcades again and again. There's an entire program associated with the year of Mortal Kombat, and Ed Boone will be out a little, in a little bit to explain it to you, but uh, stick around. These uh, characters are going to get ready, they'll give you a little demonstration, and then we'll give you a demonstration up on the big screen, so thank you.
gentlemen, Jack, Sonya, Kung Lao, and Kano, the Mortal Kombat 3 characters. You will now be seeing a demonstration by Ed Boon and John Tobias in Mortal Kombat 3 here on the big screen. Mortal Kombat 3 has 50% more image memory. A host of new characters, secret codes, new features like you've never seen before. The most astounding resolution of any video game ever. Essentially, all these characters have moves just like this. Just in the previous Mortal Kombat games, they have the... Uh,
John Tobias. Let's hear them for. We have Jax, we have Kung Lao, uh, 
we have Sonia and we have Kato with the sore head. Okay, now we're going to take a look at this game, Mortal Kombat 8, with this game. But there's a whole list of different promotions that are going to be, you're going to be seeing during the course of the year. Coming in April, there will be a television ad for a coin out game. After that, you'll see a making up tape. After that, an animated tape. Ultimately, you'll see a film that'll take place in August and in September at the beginning of a live tour. We should let you know that Mortal Kombat 3 is being offered for sale right now in two different ways. You can buy it in the standard dedicated way, which is these cabinets, but we're also off to play. And they'll be telling you about the code system and how that will funnel players back into your location over and over and over again. So, here's John Dice. Hey, people. Uh... What Jim just mentioned, that our code system is something else. Actually, here's a fatality. What Jim was just talking about was uh, the code system that we put into the game that you can access through the Versus screen in a two-player game. And what these codes do is they uh, enable the player to uh, get some different, uh, different variations on playing the game. Uh, you can get the codes through the ads that are running on television, through magazine ads. Also, uh, codes are being hit in the new line uh, movie that's coming out. This one's called Dark Fighting. Uh, what this does is, is the screen goes completely black until a player contacts with another player and then, and then it flashes bright again. It's sort of what you're doing. There's all sorts of uh, things like this buried into the game. Again, accessible through the, uh, the secret codes. Uh, and as I was saying, uh, the codes are hidden all over the place in the uh, ads, in the uh, motion picture. The new lights coming out and that will be released in August, and that's a $40 million motion picture. Uh, also, the uh, codes will be hidden in the uh, animated feature, which is coming out in video tape, that's also my new one. And also, uh, uh, the codes will also be given out through the, uh, the live tour, which is also happening uh, this summer. Mortal Kombat 2, we have 14 playable characters, uh, 8 full on 7 returning characters. Here's a couple of our new uh, cybernetic ninja robots, Sekiro and, and uh, Cyrus. And here's another uh, another feature uh, accessing through our code is if you disable blocking, the block button doesn't uh, do anything. Done is more of the backgrounds are, uh, are interactive with the player finally. Maybe we'll get a quick demonstration uh, after I finish this story. Oh, yeah, Alright, watch this folks. experience that will not be available on any home platform. In fact, we will be releasing secret codes in the home games that will feed players back into the arcades. The only place that, that players will be able to use those secret codes is back in the arcades. 
What we're trying to do here is make all home games that exist a billboard for arcade games. The ultimate fighting experience will still only be available in arcades all the way through the year. So this is the year of Mortal Kombat, and we, uh, we, ask, you, we ask you to participate in it. One more thing, one more incentive, one more reason to participate in the year of Mortal Kombat is the fact that this game is being offered.